lots of new makeup releases right now. I wanted to definitely share with you the new Huda Beauty Easy Blur Foundation. I also picked up the Tarte Creamy Creaseless Concealer, and we're gonna check that one out. I did try it before, but I had the wrong color. I saw these Morphe, these are blush drops, hot shot blush drops. We're going to try those. Makeup by Mario released a new powder and a new setting spray. There's so much new in front of me. So I wanted to share those with you. So if that interests you and you happen to be new to my channel, I hope that you do decide to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to tell you when my videos are going to be uploaded or when they get uploaded. And then also if everybody wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and thank you all, all of my subscribers for being here and giving me your support. Okay, before we get started, I always tell you what I have on for a shirt. Let me tell you that this shirt right here is a shirt that comes in tons of colors and I have it in at least five colors. And the reason is, is because this is the easiest shirt for me to grab and go every single day. And in the winter time with the long sleeves, it's great because it's a little bit warmer, but it has the deeper neckline right here. And I like that because I don't like things to be up against my neck. It makes, makes me feel like I'm choking. So anyway, also all the jewelry and any makeup that I do wear that I don't talk about will be listed and linked down below for you. All right, let's get started. I'm going to use my Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Primer. This is a new one that I just purchased. I think I said in a video a while ago that I was going to repurchase this. Love this primer so hydrating at the same time of being super blurring. Now, why didn't I get the blur primer from Huda? I did, but it got delayed, so we're not trying that today. I'll try it in a different video for you or give you my thoughts. Let's do some Milani eyeshadow primer. That is nothing new. We've done that a million times. I like to take care of the discoloration. However, this one doesn't do that as much. It does a good job of gripping your eyeshadow, but it really doesn't do a great job of discoloration, taking the discoloration away. And we're just gonna use the Daylight from Alter Ego palette today. So I'm gonna go into that light color right there and I'm gonna go on to the eyelids. And that's gonna help take out some of the discoloration. It's also gonna set that primer so that we have no creasing at all. I have tried this palette out before and gave, given you my review on it, but I haven't tried it on camera. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go into this kind of, it's almost an orangey color, lighten it up a little bit with the beige color in there. And we are gonna use that as our transition color. I really like this shadow formula and I like that they do alternatives to high end products because it really does help us save a lot of money. If you are interested, I will leave the link down below and I do have a bit of a discount that you can use if you use, I think it's code Mrs. Melissa M on that, that you can use. So um, you get a little bit extra discount on top of their already affordable prices. Let's just go in and darken the outer corner there. I'm not gonna make this too dark of a look today, but I do want to have it just a little bit defined out here in the outer corner. It's hard to look straight ahead and look at the mirror over here where I'm working. So if I ever go like this, that means that I'm just trying to see what I'm actually doing. Now I didn't deepen anything up very much. If you wanted to, you could go into one of these deeper colors. And when you are wanting to deepen your, the outer corner, best thing to do is just lay your brush down. We're using kind of a denser brush when we do this. Lay that brush down in that corner and try to draw a line up and down with your brush. And then you're going to really see that that definition will come out. Plus, if you're going up and down like that, then you're using the brush itself to go to the tail end of your eyebrow and that is lifting your look just a little bit. So we're gonna go into this color right here. I'm going to stamp with my finger instead of swiping across. When you swipe, what happens is you get a lot on there. I'm just stamping to get a light touch of glimmer on my eyelid. I do wanna give it just a pop. So go right into that pink color that's right in the middle on the top and just in the very middle, give it a little bit of extra oomph towards the lash line. I found this new Revlon Colorstay Eyeliner. These are supposed to be, let's see, 
these say multiplayer liquid glide on pencil. Um, they are kind of a coal pencil. It's not liquid per se. This one's in the color called Glutch Effect. You have a brush on the one end and then you just have the regular pencil on the other end. The reason that I wanted to try this is can you see how that has a little bit of, oh, a little bit of metallic in there, but it also um, has a blue in there and I love blue on my eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my waterline with this and we will see how this goes. And it's going to give kind of metallic effect that will kind of reflect light. It should look pretty nice on the eyes. Next, we're going to go in with that foundation. And so you know, I'm gonna to read to you the ingredient callouts or what it is. Uh, it's a lightweight, medium to buildable coverage foundation that is non-comedogenic. I always say that wrong. And ultra blurring for an airbrush finished. Highlighted ingredients, 1.5% niacinamide smooths and refines the look of uneven texture and tone. Silica, pore blurring, results in natural airbrushed finish. Comfortable on the skin, blendable and easy to apply. It's available in a range of shades with a seamless filter finish. Okay, I will tell you that um, I had a heck of a time finding my color. And so I ended up with, what color? I ended up with Chai, it's 210B. I really feel like these companies, even though they say that they're going to do these cool tone colors, I don't know if they have a grasp on what a cool tone color is yet. So even though that's kind of looking yellow, it should work okay for me. Today I'm using, I believe it's the 106, I can't see. Anyway, I believe it's the 106 brush. <laughs> using that method that I showed you a while ago, where I push all of the foundation into the brush itself. So I've used one, basically one pump on there. And I'm going to just go ahead and swirl and buff. Spoiler alert, I have worn this one other day and I ended up at the end of the day with a migraine. So I could not um, film how I felt about it at the end of the day. So what I wanna tell you is first of all, I think it's beautiful when it goes on. It really does blur. And you know, the other thing I felt kind of good about, I don't know if you can feel good about a price of a foundation, but I believe this is around $38. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. So it was around $38 and I thought, you know, to find a foundation under $40 at Sephora, besides the Sephora collection, is about unheard of. So I felt really good about the price of it. And then as I was working with it, I'm like, you know what? I think I like this. I think I like it a lot. Now this is one coat of it. And I do wanna really pay attention to the areas where I have a lot of discoloration on my cheeks. Right here, I'm gonna stipple across where I have so much age spots and different things like that. So hopefully you can see, that's one coat. I'm not gonna use another coat. I like it a lot and I really appreciate the way that it covered everything. I feel like it's easy to blend out. It is definitely not a satin, but it's definitely not a very hard matte. It's like a really soft matte, which I think is a great look for a woman that has large pores. We have gotten so much into these glowy foundations that I feel like you see a lot of texture when your foundation is super glowy. Now the Tarte Creamy Creaseless Concealer. And like I said, I had the color 22N. It was just not the right color. And then this color is 35S. So I'm putting a super light color right here in the corner. And then I'm gonna use the other color on the rest of it. And you'll see that this looks, well, that actually doesn't look too bad. Surprise, surprise. Looks like I'm using a lot, but there's not a lot on there. And per usual, I'm gonna pat this out, tiny bit, not a lot. Not patting it in all the way, so that in a few seconds after it sets, I can go ahead and buff it out with a brush. For brows, I have a new product that I found from NYX. Um, it's called Powder Louder. This is in ash brown. It is very much like the old brow pencils that we used to use. Just a sharpen it yourself type situation with the spoolie on the other end. And I'm gonna go ahead and lightly do my brows today. I have a feeling this is gonna work exactly like the old brow things that we used to use. I'm gonna turn my light on so I can see. Woo, that's bright. Let's turn that baby down, okay. <laughs> Now, I'm just going to very lightly, it is covering quickly, so it's depositing a lot of color fast, 
and it is completely covering my brows so it's darkening them. I'm going to try and stay with the natural arch of my brow and not put a bunch of effort into my brows. I'm not, I've said this a million times, I'm so not a brow person. I don't enjoy it. I do it because my brows are so wonky. Crossing our fingers and hoping for the best. It wasn't bad. I find that it covered really quickly. So it did act more like a powder product than it did an actual pen where you're drawing in the hair. I'm gonna set that with my Benefit Brow Setting Gel. This stuff holds anything in place all day long, which is awesome because I have hairs right here that stick straight down because they're gray and they look terrible. By the way, it did cover up the gray hair. All right, I'm gonna take my BK Beauty brush and we're going to tap this out since we let it set clear through the brows. This makes the most pretty under eyes because now I'm lifting product into the brush, but at the same time, I'm going to get just a natural look to my under eyes. I really like that color in the waterline, even though it's a little bit darker. It's like almost a slate navy blue. Makeup Forever sent me their new waterproof, budge proof, Artist Color Pencil Extreme. And then this one is in Endless Cacao. Lots of people use this for their lip liner. I might even do that today. What I'm going to be doing is taking my E30 Sigma brush. I have about four of these. And if you find a sale at Sigma, you really should pick up one of these. What's so cool about this is it's super easy to smudge, but you can also get a super precision tip on there. So I am going to do what I usually do bring out that color with the eye pencil just on the outside flick it up towards the tail end of the brow a little bit and then bring in that pencil and give it a good smudge trying not to come all the way in because you're going to keep your eye open if you don't bring your eyeshadow or your eyeliner all the way in all right i like that it's very creamy very easy to work with and we shall see by the end of here whether or not I can smudge it some more. I'll just check that really quick for you. I'm gonna take a flat concealer brush and I'm gonna use that color that I used on the middle of the eye and I'm gonna brighten up right here in the inner corner just a tiny bit. So I did run across these Morphe Hot Shot Blush Drops and this one is in Free Something. Where's the glasses? This one is in flex symbol, not free something, flex symbol. Okay, so this is kind of a hot pink color. I didn't like any of their other colors that they had, but wow, that's a that's pink, that's pink. I kind of wanted a more neutral color today, but that's pink. We're gonna use a very soft angled brush. I don't know why I'm doing my blush before I even do my highlighter or my bronzer, but I am. Okay, let's see how this does. We're gonna tap this out so that we don't get too much. And I feel like I've already gotten too much. Yeah, there's a lot on there. I put too much. Let's just, let's just color the hand. Here we go. Let's just color the hand. Okay, let's go into the cheek here. There's a lot there. All right, I'm gonna try and distribute it both sides evenly. There's a lot on here. Okay, I'm gonna get my, so I can not put too much on. And yet it is, it's pretty, it's very pigmented would go a long, long way. Pretty color, nice consistency, seems to be topping out easily. I'm gonna go right up in here in my temple, into the hair, which I didn't wanna get, but I did. That's a lot of blush. I mean, I still got a ton on here. You need like one drop, maybe a half a drop, and then spread it around. Let me go ahead and see if I can get that off. And then we'll go and we'll kinda under the eyes where I normally get a little bit of blush just to offset everything. Pretty color. We better do a little bit of bronzing just to offset all of that bright blush. This is from Rare Beauty and this is her bronzing stick and the color is Bright Side. Look at this cool brush. Isn't that a cool fan brush? It's kind of angled. It's fanned out. Really fluffy from um, Real Techniques. Thought that was really nice. Okay, I'm going to pick up a bunch of this and then I'm going to, again, tap it onto my hand so I don't get too much and we will see how we do. Oh yeah, that's gonna help a lot. Kind of tone down that blush a little bit. I like the blush, I'm just not crazy about that color. 
being so stark but i think that was user error i think that was oh i got way too much on there you know what i mean then i do have a new highlighter and this is baby got glow from essence and i don't know the color on this one either rose and shine i'm telling you why do they have to make those things so darn tiny i'm gonna use this little teeny brush from bk beauty the little teeny blush brush it's like a precision angled blush brush i like it especially when you're getting ready to do a little glow okay just a little bit here on the high points what is pretty about this product is yes you get the glow but you get a very subtle glow and i do like that about it you're just wanting the light to catch that glow as you're oh she might have a little bit of glow on her face type thing all right let's do this on the high point which not very much is coming out high point of the cupid's bow extremely subtle on that glow another new product from hard candy i found at walmart the other day and this is their kind and free clean eye definer intense color that lasts all day okay i'm going to do this in my upper waterline That was creamy and easy to apply and I feel like it didn't tug or anything like that. So we will see how long that one lasts as well. Also, like I said, endless cacao is what I'm going to line my lips with. Wow, it's been a hot minute since I did any sort of lining with a brown liner. And since these claim to be waterproof, we'll see how they go, how they last throughout the day and whether or not they're going to smudge off or come off with other things that I'm using. We will find that out. I'm going to take my original foundation brush and lighten up this blush just a tiny bit because, surprise, surprise, I have another blush that I wanted to try for you guys. I have two colors of the Fenty blushes, which I do like these a lot, and I like that they have a little bit of glow in them. When Jen Phelps reviewed these, she talked about them being almost like a powder product that felt creamy, and I feel like they feel real creamy but I feel like they're very light and I do feel like they're kind of just a highlighter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the two of them together. See what we get here. Just put this back on the high point of the cheek and up into the temple just for a little bit added. Not that I need more blush right this second. I do like these. They're very pretty. So I have two colors from them. This is Bacon Cakes. That is the more neutral looking color right there. And this one is What a Brat. Both of them have a very slight shimmer to them, but they're not overpowering glow at all. So if you're somebody that just wants a one and done product, maybe you don't want to have to do the bronzer and the blush and highlight. I think that this one that is um, baking cakes might be really good for you. I bought two of the duos of the Charlotte Tilbury lip lippies. There's a lipstick in here and there is a lip gloss in here as well. So this is the one that I'm not going to wear. I'm going to wear the one that's a little bit darker because of this lip liner that I just put on. So this one is Icon Baby. It has a, a mini kissing lipstick in Icon Baby and a full size lip luster in Hall of Fame. Okay, so let me show you the lipstick Icon Baby first and put it right there light pink color kind of a your lips but better situation pretty color and then the other one just the lip gloss this one is just a clear gloss so that's not going to really do anything but just give you a little bit of shine on that i do like their glosses they're a little bit thicker gloss which i love because i'm an 80s girl but if you don't then you might not like this one as much as i do and then this other one is the one that is 90s pink and so you get the lip kissing lipstick uh 90s pink and the full size lip luster in ibiza nights and this one has a little bit is a little bit darker so we're going to try this one on actually you know what we'll do we'll do a ombre look so let me let me swatch it first for you there is the 90s pink kind of a grungy looking pink that we used to wear a lot of we'll do a dual color on the lips this is going to go good because i had that brown liner Okay, and then we'll go into Icon Baby, and we'll put that in the middle since it's a little bit lighter. Not by much, just a little bit. Ooh, I love this formula. So pretty. This is uh, Your Lips But Better Darkened. 
for me. Pretty color, really pretty colors together. And then I'm going to take this lip luster and I forgot already what the color is, Ibiza Nights. What a great way to be able to try Charlotte Tilbury without spending a ton of money on these products. So I just put Ibiza Nights in the middle. Very subdued look. So it goes really good with what I'm accomplishing here, which is almost, this is almost a fall look. And I have two mascaras to try for you today too. The first one I'm gonna try is the new one from Charlotte Tilbury, Exaggerize Volume Mascara. I've heard good things about this. I picked up the little baby one because you know the big one is quite expensive. So we will see together what we think of this one. And I don't know why. I've always got hair everywhere. Either my hair or the dog hair is always everywhere. Okay, there's the wand. Little bit of curve, natural bristle brush. We shall see what we think here. Going in, I like the natural bristle brush a lot. I feel like it's building that volume a lot. Yeah, like this actually do like this a lot and I can feel that it's not clumping at all which is a super plus for me and then we'll put a little bit on the bottom and then we'll come back into a second coat after we do the other eye with a different mascara oh I boogered I boogered it up on this eye I heard about from Andrea Madaleno I don't know if that's how you say her name Madalino Matalano don't know, but I love the girl. I'm gonna put on this one, which is Lash Without Limits from Essence. Let's see, I don't know anything about these at all. Okay, looks like it is a silicone bristle brush. Kind of just a basic brush. Actually, looks like the brush from Maybelline Sky High. So let's see how this does. You know what I forgot to do before I did these, and I usually always do? I forgot to do powder and spray so we will let these dry a little bit okay i will say that right off the bat this is not giving me as nice a volume as the charlotte tilbury did it's kind of clumping together it's not like it's a wet formula per se but it is kind of clumping together and i'm not getting the individual lashes caught like i did on the other side with the charlotte tilbury and i normally do not like charlotte tilbury's mascara and I'm a huge fan of essence so that's odd building up pretty good and I'm getting some good length out of it I just feel like I'm having to work really hard on it okay so let's go back and let's put a second coat on the Charlotte Tilbury side see what happens oh it is building nicely on itself I'm getting some good length out of it you know what else I'm getting that I didn't notice on the other side I am getting some curl that is pretty darn phenomenal, actually. Can you see that? The curl is there really good. All right, second coat with the Essence. The Essence is okay. It's not my favorite formula to work with, to begin with. It's working, it's just not my favorite. I can tell that it's not separating the lashes the way that the Charlotte Tilbury did. Hopefully you can see that on camera. So I guess my favorite would be the Charlotte Tilbury side. We are going to now go in I got the new Kosas Pink Powder. I love the Kosas Powder anyway, but I couldn't help myself. I wanted this pink powder so badly. I also got the new Makeup by Mario. This one is called Surreal Skin Soft Blur Setting Powder, and this is in Fair Pink. I don't think this is a pink. I'm sorry. It doesn't look pink. It's one of those ones. Yeah, it doesn't look pink at all. So I'm gonna try on this side to do the Makeup by Mario one, and I was going to do a puff, but I actually think I'm just going to do a brush on this. Very airy, very light. When you stick your finger into it, it feels like it just goes and it's just gone. It's so airy in the texture and light in the texture. So we shall, we shall see, as I'm trying to talk and it's not working, what this one feels like. Oh my goodness, very blurring. Can you tell right here to right here? Extremely blurring. So I'm going to take just a little bit more, tap that off, and I'm going to go into the forehead on this side, blur all that out, set all that makeup down, and then whatever's left, I'm going to go under my eyes. When you push in your powder like this, instead of dusting it over, you're pushing it into your pores, which is huge. 
when you are a mature woman because that's going to blur out those pores. I'm going to take one more little shake of it and I'm going to do down my neck with that to set all that makeup. Okay, we're going to dust off and now we're going to do this pretty pink powder. I think this is just pretty. I don't know whether I, the color is just grabbing me or what, but I'm going to lift some of this and again, I'm going to tap it off and we're going to set Okay, this is pretty. Now, like I said, I don't know whether I'm getting sucked in by the pink or not, but I think maybe I like the pink side more. Could be, I yeah. Oh gosh, you guys. It's so hard for me to tell on powder because I like powder when I very first put it on and then in about an hour sometimes it makes you look really dry. I haven't put this under the eyes yet. But we will stay tuned and find out. I think they both did a really good job, but I think I think I like the pink one for under the eyes just a little bit. I could put more under there, but if I do that, then I'm going to lose any sort oh gosh, sorry, did this eye. I'm gonna lose any sort of, you know, any sort of luminosity underneath my eyes, and then they're going to really look dry. So between the two, I would say that the makeup by Mario feels uber fine. It is just like this whisper of a powder. I really do like that about it. And then the Kosas, which is just, you know, same formula, just a pink color. This is a little bit heavier, but not really heavy. That That's really hard to say because with the Kosas powder, you put your finger in there, it's almost like no powder powder. Um, so I think that I have a place for both of these right now as time goes on and you know towards the end of the month when I do my monthly favorites you'll know which one that I really liked better because I will go ahead and compare these for you. I'm going to do some spray right here because he did come makeup by Mario did come out with a new spray. Let's see how it goes. Looks like a fairly fine mist. We will find out right now. Proof in the pudding. Not as fine as I would have liked it to be just so you know that. Go over it with your puff to melt everything in. There's no alcohol in this, which I do like very much, but there you have it. There's the final look with everything I tried. I would probably say that for me, the standout has to be the foundation. I love it. Uh, this is the second time I've worn it. It's gone on the same every single time. One coat made me feel like it was everything was blurred out and I feel like my skin still looks like skin. It's really pretty. I also did really enjoy the nude Tarte Creaseless Creamy Concealer. I did not find any creasing. That it looked really good clear through the day. I really have enjoyed this very much so far, what I have. I also like the pencil from NYX. I like that it was really quick, and I like that it acted like a powder that completely covered each hair because I do have the gray hair, so I did like that very much. What else did we have? I think the drops might be a pass for me on the Milani because they were just a little bit too hard to work with and I felt like I had to buff them out a little bit too much. As far as the duos go on the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Lipsticks, if you have not dipped your toe into something like this, you might really enjoy this. They have two colors. I think it's a really good deal personally to be able to, you know, kind of start out and use. Oh, and one more thing. I was gonna see if I could smudge out make sure there's nothing on there. If I could smudge out the eyeliner at all, or if it's budged proof. Oh yeah, budge proof. That's not going anywhere. Yeah, so the eyeliners, the new eyeliners that are the waterproof ones from Makeup Forever, I can give that a thumbs up as well. Was there anything else? Oh, I did like the new mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to put this on the other eye to try and even out these two eyes. Man, that builds so well on itself. I really like that, it's really pretty. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section if there is any new makeup that you have tried that I really need to try because I always love to do that. Please take care of yourselves and I'll see you back around here very soon in my next video. Love you much, bye-bye friends.